Hey guys, I'm Stephanie. And I'm B. And today we have wandered down to Juliet, Georgia. And let's see if y'all can figure this out where we're at. We're so excited. I've waited so many years to be able to come down here. Well, good part is we're uh, getting off the interstate as it's about to start unleashing the rain fury. Just put new tires on the car, but we we really weren't looking to test them out. But <laughs> here we are. So far, so good. This is the perfect day to go traveling. And just for safety aspects, this is being filmed in the passenger side. The person driving is not filming this. I feel that that probably should be said, but I'm, as you can tell, I am on the right side. Over there, the trees. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, oh shoot. Standing water. Much light. Mudslide. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, there was, there was, the, the water was kind of brown, looked like a mudslide. Yeah. <laughs> Probably. Out here, what, we, what we were not able to see of it a few minutes ago. The rolling hills. All I know is I take a left, and that's pretty much it. So that's what we did. So, <laughs> all right. Well, I'm gonna. Pop. What in the world is in those trees? <laughs> oh, there's a whole bunch of cows uh, over there. Oh, that's a nice house. That's like surrounded by trees and then fields. Georgia. Newborn. Oh. Oh, there's okay. The Shady Dale City Hall. <laughs> Libraries and City Hall. It's like dual purpose. <laughs> That's pretty cool. And we're back with the rain. <laughs> Nice decorative sign up there. Oh, uh, that's a So we take a right over here. We're just gonna follow this person. <laughs> oh, so it's like a square. Okay. Gotcha. It's like Oviedo. Alrighty. Yeah, I would have did that all I wrong. I remember this. I've driven through here before. With my father. Art Alley. Alley? Do I say straight? Yeah, let's go straight. But I will. Osburns. Still different. Here you go, Uncle Danny. Just need to ask. We'll paint over it for you. Mm. Maximum overdrive. 
just kidding. <laughs> Y'all know where we're at? All right, I'll tell you. So for those of you who have seen Fred Green Tomatoes, there's the Whistle Stop Cafe. <laughs> and you can see like some of the scenes here that were in the movie, like the steps right there. In the movie, you can see the people walking up and down the steps. You got the little town right here. All these little buildings were in the movie. I've waited for so long to come here. Whistle Stop Cafe. And as you can see, there's quite a wait. So we're going to see if there's a list that we can put our name in. Because you can't come to Whistle Stop Cafe and not have some fried green tomatoes. Like we got the railroad tracks right over here. And in the movie, if I'm not mistaken, there's one scene where everybody runs out of the back of the restaurant because they hear everybody screaming where little buddy fell down on the rail and he loses his arm. But those fans are going to recognize this spot right here. Right here is where oh, became part of the barbecue for that day. Right here, y'all. Speaking of Frank Bennett, here lies Frank Bennett of Valdosta. The secret was in the sauce and here. How about that? And look over here, we got Smokey's little shack. Y'all remember Smokey? That Ruth always made sure had a hot meal. This was his little house. His little fire pit right there, his little stove. I mean, just what an amazing movie that was. Oh, the food smells so good, y'all. I don't know what it is specifically. I know. <laughs> if I could like bottle up the smell and get it to y'all somehow. My only recommendation is to get down here and see it and smell it for yourselves. It's awesome. Yeah, because like in the movie, it was they all ran out of the back of the restaurant and they all came down. No, I think, was it the back of the restaurant? Or was it the, well, the, I think the they all came running out of the restaurant, but then when they we're carrying him back up the hill. They were carrying him to the house. Uh huh. Oh. Buddy, little Hello. buddy. We're gonna go see if there's a wait list to get in here and eat, and then we're gonna walk around and check out some of these shops. in the movie. Got the pies on the window and then you got the fried green tomatoes over there. Only thing you're missing is the bullet hole. And here's the bridge. I guess I say bridge but it's kind of a bridge. Um, just a little overpass. There's like a little creek down there. Um, you can see right here in the film where it was um, one of the scenes of the movie with the cars coming across there. Right here we got the railroad tracks. You can kind of see over there the old mill or whatever it was over there. Let's see. 
you can get a better shot of this. So, in the movie, uh, the train depot actually sat kind of where these uh, orange railroad equipment are sitting there on the tracks, um, on the other side of the tracks. Because, like, right here in this scene of the movie, you'll see the uh, mill or that building in the background. It's pretty neat. And I can hear water, so I think we're close to the, the dam that was also in the movie. We're gonna see if we can't find that. One of the little gift shops. First one we're walking into. Oh, like an antique store here. It's a cool stuff. That fan feels good. Whew. strawberry shortcake. Mm. Buddy wasn't on the tracks. So we got this little storefront here that's not open today, but apparently they ain't got nothing shop. <laughs> they have original oil paintings, knives, batons, pepper spray now open, but they're not open. Ruth and Iggy's place. Oh yeah. There's the side of the Whistle Stop Cafe. But look guys. The train depot. Yep, yeah, here we got the old bank. And the Whistle Stop Cafe and gift shop. We'll pop in there in just a moment. Here's more of that train depot. It's so cool. Looks like they're open too. You wanna go in? Yeah. Oh, don't tell Liam, I got Dippin' Dots. We won't tell him. Oh. Brian found the one spot that has the animal crackers. <laughs> he sniffed them out.
because she's got better insurance. It's hog boiling time, secrets in the sauce. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Oh, there we go. Face it, girl. I'm older and I have more insurance. Yeah, you act up, that's where you're gonna go. Get arrested, do your court hearing all in one place. Public restrooms located at the fire station. I don't know where that's at, but. Oh, public restrooms. Look, there's the Opry House. Got a little spot over here, guys. Julia Opryland. Hee haw. I don't know how many of you out there remember hee haw, but I remember sitting with my grandma Pete and watching hee haw. Hee haw was like the uh, Saturday Night Live back in the day. A much cleaner version of SNL. Right? Sure. Hee haw? Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh oh. Pick up the shirt for him. Where it was hanging. <laughs> Trisha Yearwood Parkway. Is she from here? She's from uh, Monticello. Thank you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's not far. It's Jasper County. It's not far from Yeah. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Didn't know mm -hmm. that. Yeah. yeah, we kind of wondered that, like driving, and we saw the. We uh, we born and raised Trisha. Did you? <laughs> Aww. Yeah. She's good people, so yes, she that is. makes sense. She is. <laughs> well, um, it's got a cute store. Cute as hell. <laughs> it smells good too. Yeah, it does. Apple of my pie. That is mm. apple of my pie. Jennifer is makes it? My oh. And we're beginning to bring in our fall and Christmassy candles, and um, we're just. We do the soaps, we do the scrubs, we do the candles, we do the melts, um, and then we do the stuff out of the North Georgia Mountains, all the canned things. Okay. Then I have a lady that does my laser work. But yeah, she does um, Christmas ornaments for me, the laser lady does, and magnets. So. And then Nancy does the artwork and the handles and. So it's a joint effort of artisans in here. Okay. It is. It is. Because we've got the, the wine bottles that uh, Jennifer's sister-in-law makes. I try yeah, to my aunt up in New York makes 
one similar to that. She hand paint. Um, she did one for our wedding. It was like a hand painted tree on like a blue wine bottle. It's beautiful. More than mason jars. Mm -hmm. Okay. My last name is Mason. Well, isn't that fitting? <laughs> My grandson's name is Mason. Oh, so Everybody, it's only right then. Everybody's like, well, um, well, first of all, I get, is it Mason Mason? I'm like, no, it's not Mason Mason. <laughs> um, I have only one daughter, and that was her way of keeping our name going. Oh, that's sweet. Um, That's not good. What's the name of that? Oh yeah, I can smell it. Oh yeah, that smells good. Hey, so a word of advice that I was given from shop owner right over here. If you're coming into town and you plan on eating over here at the Whistle Stop Cafe, make sure that you um, sign in first. Didn't mean to be all up in my face there. <laughs> make sure that you sign in first and then uh, walk around to your shop in. Um, yeah, we got here probably like an hour and a half ago and I think we were like 19 down the list and uh, about to see what the verdict is on how far we are now. Hubby's walking back up now. So yeah, I would definitely recommend doing that. Um, you know, save yourself some time because you're gonna have a wait. Five more. Uh, see, we still got five more people in front of us and we've been here for about an hour and a half now. So we're getting there. You wanna come to a small town with just a few tables and Eat at a good restaurant. It's a price you gotta pay sometimes. Got the honeycomb shop. Just got lots of candles. Neat little gifts, knickknacks. <laughs> Signed. What you think? Got the light. Very cool. Guys, these fried green tomatoes. 
They're huge. I mean, like, look at the size of... <laughs> look at the size of the Sprite can compared to this tomato, y'all. This thing is huge. You gonna eat a fried green tomato? Hmm? You gonna eat a fried green tomato? We got plenty of them. And look, get your drinks in a mason jar. How appropriate is that? You won't see me drinking sweet tea, though. Sorry. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Does it taste like a fried green tomato? <laughs> tastes unique. I don't know if I've ever had a fried green tomato before. There's the original glass with the bullet hole. <laughs> Y'all, I don't know who's gonna eat all this food. Like we got cornbread, okra, asparagus, Frank Bennett. <laughs> then we got some mac and cheese, cornbread, mashed potatoes, and some chicken tenders. Y'all, this is a feast. You going here? Yeah. Hi there, how are you? Exactly what you don't like. Oh, hello, ma'am. <laughs> Cinnamon pear preserves, tequila jelly, oh, jalapeno peach jelly, Georgia moonshine jelly, oh, frog jam. Bryant said he can't wait to try that one. Here we got little mini jellies. They're so cute. We got the t shirts. Oh, here's the t-shirts, babe. <laughs> Can you fix my husband? He says he's broke. What's he doing? Mm -hmm. No. He's dying to play some checkers. He's <laughs> dying to play. He's waiting for you to take your turn. Been waiting a little bit. Pick up your mail. Mm -hmm. Somebody forgot their package.
So look what we have here. We have the resting site, Ruth Jameson, and you got Buddy. That's why, yes. The what? The river retreats. Oh, yeah, there's right there. What? The dam was right there. I don't know. I see it though. I'll turn around so you can see it from your side. That's the, this is the river retreat. This is where the cabins are. Okay, let's not run over all those little um, railroad spikes. Be bad. <laughs> that would not be a good day. Oh, yeah, look. Okay. Stay by the big creepy building. Is there an office open? I don't know. Possibly. store owners um, was telling us about these cabins said that they're actually pretty inexpensive to stay at I haven't looked myself to see what the prices are but it'd definitely be cool to check out there is a, um, a website it looks like to go to um, let's see down here at the bottom check them out it's literally right across the tracks from the town where Whistle Stop Cafe is. It is fenced off though, I think, so you can't like just cross, you can't just hop the tracks, walk across. You gotta actually go down this little road that we came down and go around, but. That bus is so cool. It reminded me of the Muppets. Remember the Muppets? <laughs> it's not quite, but. That was just the first thing that popped in my mind. You got the river right down there, so cool. Oh, so mm. Hey little buddy. This is where the dam is at. We're on the upper part. I'm not sure if we're gonna be able to see the lower, like where they walked across, but you can kind of see it from here.
Alright guys, we discovered a path. Sort of. Seems like this could be the end of the road. Uh, you can see over there like the part in the movie or Iggy. Let's see if I can get in here. Iggy was standing, sitting right over there on the ledge, fishing. That's where she sat, was kind of like in between those two things there, fishing. And then they walked across with the umbrella. Actually, I think they were walking back this way, but... <laughs> Ruth and Buddy and little Iggy. Very cool. Yeah, I'm not about to brave going out there, guys. Sorry. <laughs> Maybe on another trip. I don't know what's in these waters. I don't sure know, but there's water. some socks right there. Yeah, somebody's been in these waters. <laughs> I've got a lot of people like come over here and fish too. Good little fishing spots. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, thank you for coming along on our little journey where we took uh, a little day trip out to Whistle Stop Cafe. I think that's where we went to. I don't know, some little cafe with, that has some <laughs> whistles on it or something. It had a lot of people. But, we heard uh, some train whistles. Yeah, we heard some train. We saw a train pass. Yeah. No one died today so far. And um, <laughs> it, was a good, it was a good little outing. So mm -hmm. thank you for watching us and watching this video. And I uh, hope you enjoyed. Make sure that you like and subscribe. And uh, hit that notification bell so that you're notified when our new videos come out because we've got a lot more wandering around to do. So, all right, guys. See you later. Bye. Till next time. Alien landing zone. Oh. Madison and Eatonton. Eat, eat, eat a ton. Eatonton. <laughs> Eatonton. This is Stephanie B. And we're wandering around. In the rain. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna go check out the plantation house? Hey guys, well, thanks for coming along. On.